Russia's Orthodox Church leader has uh, come out, I guess, at, you know, one of his uh, church gatherings here, and he made a comment that's getting many headlines. So the Russian Orthodox Church leader, according to The Hill, says Ukraine invasion is part of struggle against, and I quote, gay parades. Gay parades. That's what Putin's invasion of Ukraine is about. Gay parades. A Russian Orthodox leader suggested last weekend that the country's invasion of Ukraine is part of an ongoing conflict to resist liberal pressure to hold gay pride parades sparking backlash from other Orthodox churches in the region. In a sermon on Sunday, Russian Orthodox Bishop Carroll, an ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, said that Ukraine was engaging in the extermination of Russian loyalists in the Donbass. So he's echoing um, Putin's genocide claim. A breakaway Ukrainian territory held by two Russian-backed separatist groups since 2014 that is now playing a key role in Russia's strategy. Carroll made no mention of Russia's attack on civilian areas. Hmm, you don't say, the Associated Press reported. Carroll said that the Donbass separatists were sacrificing themselves for the fundamental rejection, as a quote, the fundamental rejection of the so-called values that are offered today by those who claim world power. Carroll further claimed that liberal forces are presenting a test for the loyalty of countries by demanding they hold gay parades and join a club of nations with different ideas of freedom, according to the AP. So, think about what he's saying there. He's like, look, man, in order for Ukraine to be part of the West, the West is saying, you want to be with us, you got to live our values. We're only going to let you roll with us, whether it's NATO or the EU, economic agreements, military agreements, whatever. The only way we're going to let you roll with us is if you get some dudes out there in the street and assless chaps. If you got the assless chap dudes out there, then we welcome you in. But if you don't have the assless chap dudes out there, you don't have the rainbow flags, you don't have its raining men playing on a big-ass loudspeaker, I know what you want me to tell you. I can't let you chill with us. I can't let you be in our block. This is what this guy's saying. Carroll had previously avoided criticizing Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Wow, shocking. Uh, angering Ukrainian Orthodox churches that had remained loyal to the Orthodox leader, even with geopolitical complications in their own country. So that's interesting. So this is... It's like the Catholic Church, like the way the Catholic Church works. Um, you know, the Pope is the leader of like all Catholic churches nominally, all the various regions that have Catholicism, and and they all sort of answer to the to the Pope. This is with the Russian Orthodox Church. You have you know in various places they have Orthodox churches, and they're all like this is their leader, this is their Pope, and so now you have Ukrainian Orthodox churches. That are now like, uh, 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 I know that it's supposed to be that we pretend like you're talking for God. I don't think you're talking for God, dog. I don't think this is from God at all. I think this is from you and or Vladimir Putin. He, they continue, a number of these churches have now excluded Carol's name from public prayers. That's a big deal. And demanded separation from the Moscow church, the AP reported. So now you have like a breakaway from within the religion. They're like, we, we can't agree with you on this, and now we want to be our own thing. The Reverend Mykola Danilevich, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, said days before Carol's most recent comments that many priests had stopped commemorating Carol in church services. Quote, and the reason is obvious. Um, he wrote before Carol's sermon this past Sunday, according to the AP, the treacherous open invasion of Ukraine is a huge mistake of Russia. People did not hear from the patriarch a clear assessment of this war and his call to stop the madness. After the religious leaders' comments last weekend, officials in the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, both in the country and around the world, spoke out against the remarks, so inter-church fighting. Clergy in Lviv and Vladimir Vols Volinskari diocese called for independence from the Russian Orthodox Church on their Facebook pages. Archbishop Daniel of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the USA also condemned Carroll's comments, calling them, quote, incomprehensible. I like this next quote. Let me read you this. Regardless of our beliefs and regardless of our stance on social and moral issues, that's him saying, I sort of agree with you that gay people are bad, but you cannot use that as a propaganda tool to justify the Russian invasion and the slaughter of innocent people. 
Uh, and then, of course, they have a line here about how Putin claimed, well, this is actually, what we're doing here is we're denazifying the country. That's why we're invading Ukraine. So wait, we got, uh, reasons are all over the map now. You got, this is all about NATO, NATO expansion. We feel under threat by the West. So we have to go in to defend ourselves. That's one line that they argue. Another line they argue is, no, 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 we're denazifying the country. There's Nazis there, and, you know, they're, they're war criminals and human rights violators, and we're going to bring in justice and order and peace and decency, so we've got to go in and denazify. We've got to kill the Nazis. That's the other thing. And now we got gay parades. They got gay parades. You know, uh, we're against that. We don't like that. So we, we have no choice. we got to go in there. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So it's all over the place. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. Um, maybe, maybe there are a number of factors that are legitimate, but then there are a number of ones that are just totally and utterly made up. Now, the question for this guy, and this is a question I have for you guys too, what you think of this, um, do you think Homeboy is like the Pat Robertson of the Russian Orthodox Church? And so he really believes this stuff that he's saying. You know, Pat Robertson after Hurricane Katrina famously went out there and said it's because they, you know, they have like gay parades. They celebrate the LGBTQ community. They can't do that. That's why God's get getting revenge on them. That's what it is. He said that a number of times. After a number of horrific incidents, he'd go out there and like blame gay people or whatever, blame abortion. So is this guy like the Pat Robertson of the Russian Orthodox Church? He's saying this and he really believes it. Or is he just, you know, basically Putin's puppet and he's got a sweet deal cut with the Russian government, however, whatever it is, give maybe a kickback of some oil money or whatever. I don't know. And he's just trying to do the propaganda to take the blame away from Putin and the Russian government by any means necessary. And the tried and true religious move is like, just go back to the classics. Just go back to the classics. So, you know, however we can pin it on abortion or gay people or the breakup of marriages, like, th this is their go-to move, right? But it also shows you, guys, it also shows you what? What do we say all the time about the culture war? The culture war is largely a distraction from, like, the super real-world problems. So in this instance, in the U.S., the culture war is often a distraction from the economic war, the 1% waging it on the 99%. This is the culture war distracting from the war war. So it's like, uh, 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 don't look at the fact that we illegally invaded a country. Don't look at the fact that we're doing imperialism. Don't look at the fact that we're trying to jack the natural gas from, uh, from Crimea, from eastern Ukraine, and from western Ukraine. Uh, don't look at any of that stuff. Don't look at any of that stuff. Gays. Gay people. Isn't that shit gross? Look, it's gross. Isn't it gross? What are they doing? Why are they touching each other like that? Why are they naked? Well, what's going on here? God, that's so hot. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. I don't know if he's a true believer or if he's just doing propaganda to deflect the blame from Putin. But either way, man, this stuff doesn't work anymore. You know, like maybe if you're being kind, maybe 15% of the country is like, yeah, that's it. 20% at most. But everybody's like, fuck off. I think now that we have technology you know, we have, the world is at our fingertips on a computer, and you can look stuff up, you can research stuff, you can learn about stuff, and like, back in the day, yeah, somebody could say, oh, this is happening because of gays, people be like, damn, is this happening because of gays? But now you say that, and people are like, huh? My uncle's gay. He never hurt anybody. He didn't do anything wrong. What are you talking about? And, you know, another interesting point about this is, a lot of, a lot of conservatives in the West love or defend Putin because they think he's standing up for Western values, but now you have this guy ripping Western values, like Western values of freedom and personal choice and being who you are. But I guess they'd flip it around and say, well, no, we don't think that's Western values. We think Western values includes being anti-gay, not pro-gay. But anyway, by the way, just for the record, and I'm sure all you guys know this anyway, Putin is massively anti-gay. And he pulled the George W. Bush trick, how George W. Bush ran, like, against gay marriage in 2004 or whatever it was and got some wins in the midterms. Putin uses social conservatism to try to gin up support among his base. So, you know, not only is he authoritarian in terms of media crackdowns, he's also authoritarian in terms of social issues. And, you know, they're going back to the old playbook here. Again, does this guy really believe it? 
Does he not really believe it? I don't know. Uh, either way, it is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. If there was anything that this war obviously had nothing to do with, it's gayness. But the argument he's trying to make, effectively, is like, look at the degradation of Ukraine and the degeneracy now of Ukraine. Back when they were with us, when they were with the Russian people, in the Soviet Union in particular, but back when they were with us, they were real men and women and had moral values. And that was the correct state of affairs. Ever since they, they haven't been with us, they divorced with us in the early 90s and they started going with the West. Look at what's happened. There's been a downfall of their society. So Putin's got to go, he's got to go return Ukraine to its glory where you hate gay people and shove them back in the closet. Really stupid, really dumb. Um, any sort of religious fundamentalists are a scourge and there's not much else you could say about it. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.